We have an update now on the shooting at Fort Hood. At least 16 victims remain hospitalized with gunshot wounds, with seven in intensive care. Major Nadel Malik Hassan is accused of killing 13 people and wounding 29 Thursday. A civilian police officer shot Hassan to stop the rampage. Hassan remains in critical but stable condition. Officials won't say whether he can communicate. Army investigators are still searching for motive. One of the victims killed in that shooting was 29-year-old Sergeant Amy Kruger of Kiel. That's where Fox 11's Kristen Crowley is. She joins us live with more on how Kruger's friends and family will honor her memory tonight. Hundreds of people are expected to come out here tonight for a candlelight vigil honoring Sergeant Kruger. At 7 o'clock, family, friends, and community members will come here at the Gravel Pit Sports Bar and Grill and walk to the Veterans Memorial Park Bridge. Owner of the Gravel Pit, David Detroit, says Humvees and motorcycles will lead the vigil to the bridge. The Patriot Guard riders are already here, ready to ride in Sergeant Kruger's honor. I spoke to a high school friend of Sergeant Kruger's earlier today. She says the community's response has been tremendous. Amy was a, a very well-liked person. Um, we went to school together, fun-loving individual, and she will be missed. I think that everybody's pulling together and showing our support. The vigil is set to begin in less than two hours, but already, as you can see, people are pulling into the parking lot, getting ready all in advance, all ready to ride in Sergeant Kruger's honor. New at 9, we'll have more from the vigil and talk with some people who participated. Reporting live in Kiel, Kristen Crowley, Fox 11 News.